Salt Lake City, Utah. Bonsoir. How are you doing tonight, folks? <laughs> the snow-covered streets of Trolley Square, is that where we are? And the beautifully uh, refurbished uh, Wise Guys Comedy Club, Harmontown, is now officially in session. Would you please welcome to the stage the mayor of Harmontown. You know him. You might love him. Dan Harmon! Take some chloride, take some sodium, salt, salt. You guys love salt, right? Everyone loves salt? <laughs> I was like, okay, there's a guy holding a sign in the audience that says, Utah, 1922, never forget. Which I'm, I think is like a deep cut reference to our podcast, right? Like we were, we were making up tragedies at one point. And we, okay. And we, okay, wait, we got another one over here. 65,000, Utah, <laughs> you know what you did. You know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, these are... I don't even remember the reference now. So sorry. The camera guys want you to move back a little bit. To yeah, yeah your you're, you're completely in shadow. Right. Find your light, Herman. All right. Okay. The camera guys want me to uh, move back, back a little bit. Back a little more. So that I can make their job of capturing reality <laughs> a little more artificial. <laughs> Sorry my humanity wasn't marketable enough for you, Michelle Gondry. So what, what was the You know, I would have done a show uh, standing in a, in a big shadow. Now we'll never know what, what that would have been. I, I probably would have talked to this guy. He probably, probably has cancer or something. <laughs> now I can't, I don't, I don't, everything's fucked up now. But, but they got their shot, Jeff. They're painting with light. These fucking directors. Salt Lake City, d d d like, 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 is about humanity. It's not about. It's not about film. You know, I, I understand. There's people here who, who fled Sundance to get here, right? I, I heard about your vests, your matching vests, and your your beards and your Sundance vests. <laughs> like, 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 you know, Colorado. Fuck Colorado, right? <laughs> That's where Denver is? Is that where Sundance is? <laughs> where's, where's Sundance? It's in Colorado. Okay. No, it's, it's, it's up that canyon over there. It's up that canyon? It's oh. in Park City. It's in Utah. It's in Utah. All right, all right. Look, Utah's great. <laughs> Sundance is okay. Salt Lake City is the best city in the world. We know that. Uh, uh, and, 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 and salt is the, is the, is the best uh, condiment. <laughs> Seasoning, whatever you call it. I know, I know there's that, like, like people here, Jeff, they don't, like, they don't like salt being referred to as a seasoning. Did you know that? I did not they're, know that. They're, they're offended by that, the way that uh, some deaf people don't like cochlear implants. You know, it's like the idea in Salt Lake City is that salt is a meal itself. And that <laughs> you use potatoes and steak and stuff to make the salt go down better. Um, it's a real thing here, you know? This is the salt capital of the world. Um, their, their roads get real icy and their potatoes get real, 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 real bland. And they, and they, eat, they, eat, they eat the salt. It's also the uh, complex drinking law capital of the world. Oh, it is, it's a wrong cue. Complex drinking? It's also the what, Dave? Complex Drinking Law Corner segment. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome to Utah, home of the weirdest drinking laws in the world. You don't know them. We've memorized them. We've been memorize. here for three hours, and we've learned one-tenth of the fucking wild oh, ass liquor laws. Complex got. Drinking Laws. Let me explain them. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, you can't have a double here. A double, a double drink? You can't have a double drink. Why you not? I, I, there is no why, that is the because. You can't, you, 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 it doesn't matter why not. There was a, but I'll tell you, Brigham Young, uh, 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 he, he had huge hands. So, and he was very, very ashamed about them. He was a, he was a wood carver and a, and a, and a philanthropist and a, and a brilliant man, but he had these giant hands. And so they made, they made special big glasses for him. 
to make him feel like his hands were smaller. That, that was the original BY and BYOB, did you know that? Yeah, yeah. Big, big... big bring up, bring bring up Young's, Young's own bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Because, because they, the whole city had to kind of arrange itself around Brigham Young's deformed hands. <laughs> and so people were like, 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 dude, secretly, people would wear like prosthetic giant hands. Like that's where those foam number one hands come from. That's like, a, a, but, but just to make him feel better because he was a great man. He founded a, a great city and, uh, right, and he loved the, salt and his, he, he ate so much salt, Jeff, that he retained water in his hands, I think is what. <laughs> You ever, you, have you ever heard the expression, mad as a hatter? Yes. You know, that's from the lead lining and, and, and haberdasheries. Yeah. Um, uh, Mercury you know, lining. There's, a, there's an expression here called, 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 called you know, uh, 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 <laughs> hands the size of Brigham Young. Yeah. So, so he had special giant glasses that they would get out for him. If you ordered a double here in 1828, um, when Brigham Young was here, you could die. Like, 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 like everyone was drinking out of extra large glasses. So that's why right. no doubles. But it doesn't matter. It's, it's, today it's, a, it's in honor of temperance. And that's which, why the foam hands only hold up one finger. I'll have one. Yes. I'll have a single. <laughs> Do you want one drink or do you want I, I, two? I don't want two enormous Brigham Young sized drinks. We don't do doubles, said the bartender at the Marriott Hotel. I, I, I love, I love I, 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 something really weird about that too, like when you're at a Marriott Hotel, like a, I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty sure Marriott as a hotel chain probably has more hotels than there are people in, in certain, certain cities in the United States. Like, I guess a corporation, it's practically a country. And, uh, and, and, and it's like, I, I don't know what, what's ironic about that, but something is. Like, it's like, like you just work as, you work at a Marriott. Fucking give me the Marriott goods. Like, what, what if, 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 if Utah said I couldn't sleep in a bed, would there be no beds in the Marriott? I, like, I, I don't, I, what, 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 what's in charge here? Is this the, does the money walk or the, or the bullshit talk, you know? I, had, I, I walked into the bar at the Marriott and a, and a nice young lady said, uh, sir, I need to scan your ID. I'm like, oh, okay, that's, that's, I've never seen that ever. And, uh, and uh, she took it and then she wrote down every bit of information off of my ID. And then she put it in a thing and it came out and shredded and then she said, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I thought that was a crazy lady thing. Is that a Utah thing or is that a crazy lady thing? That's a Utah thing? Well, maybe crazy ladies are a Utah thing. Maybe, yeah. like lithium's a salt, right? It's all, it's all coming together. But also, you, uh, we were just told that you're not allowed to, in, uh, in this restaurant, you're not allowed to be walking around with your drink. You have to be seated and eating like chicken wings to have Yeah, we broke the law coming up here. <laughs> Um, yeah. we, we called, but we called 911 before we came up. We had to somehow get a, that's right, you'll notice there's an elaborate um, uh, trolley system along the walls, like in Mr. Rogers' uh, house, because so, the wait staff is not allowed to walk while holding liquor. Uh, so there's a little choo choo train that comes by, and they have to technically, they have to, they, uh, they, they have to pretend that they're here to they catch a to, train. <laughs> and then they go, oh, I'm holding a beer. And then they go, I think this is yours. And, oh, they, they have to go through so much. And they have to wash their hands, too, on top of it all. Yeah, yeah, like if you, 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 the only way to get around it is to be in a wheelchair and have a plate of food in your lap, and then you can cruise around <laughs> yeah. as a drink. It's complicated, complicated here. Are, 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 there, are there some other liquor laws that we don't know about? Uh, there's, there's a lot. I work in a bar. So. What's your name, sir? My name's Deuce. Okay, well, let's bring Deuce up, because his, his awesome name and his expertise and his... Hello, Deuce. Deuce is wearing a crisis alert uh, t-shirt from, from Community. Awesome. Uh, so, Deuce, you work in liquor in the liquor industry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, here in the in the in the in the city that invented complicated liquor laws. So let's ru run down some of the more um, uh, okay, weird. So, so like this, this is a, considered a restaurant. So you have to have food. Right. To get a beverage in a bar, you can get beverage by itself. You can't have a double, but you can have two different kinds of liquor in front of you. So you can order a tequila and a rum. That's fine. But can I order two rum. tequilas? No, I no, can't. No. Okay. But, but you can get a tequila and a rum. <laughs> because they saw they saw five easy pieces, and they're like, okay, we're not gonna let let like a Jack Nicholson uh, figure go. Like, I'd like to give me two tequilas then, and I'll ooh, look what I'm doing. Like they figured you that can out. Hold right the away. ice between your knees. Yeah. Uh, okay. So so if I if I have food in a restaurant, can I have a double? No. Nope. Still can't. I can never have a double ever. You can never have a double unless you're at home. I could, but I was at Subway at a Utah uh, gas station and I got double meat on my, uh, 
I, that's a st stupid comment. <laughs> um, all right, well, give us another one. Is there, was, uh, was there some? Uh, let's see, you can only have two ounces of liquor in a drink. So right. you know, even if it's like a Long Island, which has all kinds of different liquors, you can still only have two ounces worth of Oh, liquor. total? Total. Oh, total. so if you order a Long Island iced tea and you... It's, and, it's bullshit. Like, <laughs> it, it, you're, yeah, that's, that's, does it come in a Dixie cup or...? Usually, yeah. uh, <laughs> Comes in plastic here. All right. Well, let me let, let, let maybe maybe we, instead of just asking you to, to list the stuff off here, let's just do an exercise. Okay. Okay. You be a bartender. I'll be a customer. <laughs> oh, what a rough day of being an American citizen that's supposedly allowed to do whatever the fuck I want to do, <laughs> and having to put up with an ownership class of rich people that uh, that, that have one percent of uh, whatever the ninety nine percent thing plan plan. Um, I'm so stressed out. I would like to numb my brain with a a, a, a legal substance that, that that makes everyone around me smart. For, for, for a couple hours, a couple <laughs> blessed fucking hours. Can I please have a kettle one on the rocks with no lime? And uh, like, okay, so the answer is yes, but then, yes, sir. then you fill the glass with ice and you fill it up. Like I've noticed, the, it's, it's a thimble full. It's one ounce of, okay, all right. So I get it and I go, okay. I'm gonna slide this five dollar bill across the table. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, hey, can I? Can I? Why don't you make it a double if we're gonna be, you know, if we're gonna be this way? Then I'd look around, see if the DABC was in the house. And, uh, Is he a around. rapper? Yeah. <laughs> no, what? that's the Be beverage beverage council or whatever. Yeah, Department of Alcohol Beverage. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's ridiculous because they actually send spies in a lot to us. Right, secret Where, secret drinkers. <laughs> yeah, they really do. They really do. Um, lot, lots of underage kids being like, "Come on, man, here's twenty bucks. Let me in the bar." Right. Well, that's that's everywhere. And then does, 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 does an Irish guy walk in? And go, ah, we're shutting you down, Deuce. <laughs> oh we're shutting you down. Jesus Christ, Jeff. You know who would hate it in oh. Salt Lake City? Fucking Jerry McSeinfeld. Died. Jerry McSeinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> Stay here, Deuce. Stay here. Jerry McSeinfeld. I'm an Irish Jerry Seinfeld. I'm famous for me observational material and me Irish heritage. So you can imagine, I'm quite puzzled by the state of affairs in your little burg. Why can't I have a double? We've been over that. I'm Jerry McSeinfeld. Why, why is it so snowy outside? And why, in, a, in such an inhospitable climate, would you want to make it even harder to drink? What, 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 what's, what's happening? Why, why do you want people to move away so bad? Uh, is that why you're always closing all the roads so we can't escape? Hey, sir, that's the exact Oh my God, it's me. <laughs> Irish Tim Allen. <laughs> Irish Jim Allen, what did you do today? Arr, we went on tool time, sir. <laughs> Talk to me, neighbor Wilson. Arr, arr. Uh, he's, a little, he's a little Scottish. He's a, my Irish, he's Irish Jim Allen is a pirate. It's fine. Don't, you, don't, don't judge. Don't judge Salt Lake City. If you, 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 you live on a salt lake. Uh, why is it a salt lake? What, what, why would you want to put salt in a lake? It's the worst place for it. Oh, sir, I fixed that with me tool time supplies. Whoa, I'm Irish Steinfeld, and he's Irish Tim Allen. <laughs> All right, thank you, Deuce. Uh, for, uh, Deuce, everybody. I thought, I thought that Irish Seinfeld would have a lot more material here in Salt Lake City, but he actually doesn't. He's just, he, he's, he, he actually, this is the city that puts me and Irish Seinfeld on the same page. Because, uh, uh, and everybody, because he's like, oh, why can't you have a double? That's it, right? Why can't you have a double? Just put, it, put a billboard outside the, as you, as you enter the, is, it, is that a statewide thing or a city thing? Statewide. Statewide, okay, so as you cross the border into Utah, just put up a big, a big billboard that says, not you can't have a double, Say, why can't you have a double? And then, and then, and then, and the, uh, 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 the answer underneath it will say, "Cause we love you." <laughs> and like have like a have like a black lady with a baby. <laughs> something to something to like. Is, make there, it. is there anybody here that's from is from Utah that that still manages to get drunk occasionally? Like, is there anybody here that's a drinker? Like I say, does, does, does it keep you from getting drunk? Does, 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 does those laws? Well, I imagine, Jeff, that the, the alcoholism is rampant here <laughs> among the youth. I, I saw SLC Punk uh, Actually, with, 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 uh, with Shaggy. Uh, <laughs> 
when I was a, uh, when I was like, I don't know, 16, 15, I think I was like 15 years old in high school, we came up to Utah from, um, from Southern California to, uh, on a ski trip. And so we went to like Park City and Snowbird or whatever the hell you got up here, Alto or Alta, I don't know. Alta, yeah, it's great, best snow in the world. And, uh, and I, we had no booze, we were all, we're all 16, 15 year olds. And I was kind of a, like a huckster. I was like a shoplifter and a bad person and a burglarizer and stuff. And so I'm like, I'll, 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 I was commissioned to go out and get the alcohol. So I went to a hotel and it was a really cool like little liquor store in the lobby of a hotel, but it was just like liquor, like no beers, no nothing. It was just like a really old time like Raymond Chandler novel kind of thing, like like, a, like an old hotel with a, with a booze department in it. And they probably had like a house dick walking around, you know, like, in a, like busting people. Uh, and I went to the guy, and I was sk skinny, a little 15-year-old. I was like, hey, uh, my dad's having a big party with a bunch of his asshole friends up in the room, and like, they're too drunk to come down. Uh, he, told, he sent me down to buy, the, to buy the stuff. Here's his list. And I just put this piece of paper in front of him. He's like, oh, wow, that's, that's clever thinking of him. So you need two, uh, like, I, I just bought like, just bags and bags and bags and bags of booze. And, he, and he, he was, his response was, what is, that's a good idea of your father. I never thought of sending the kid down. What a good idea. <laughs> Shield. I came back. I was uh, I was like like Alexander the Great when I came back. The <laughs> <laughs> Trump is like ba, 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 ba. There's a lot of things. <laughs> I the the, wait, the waiter Marcus came over to uh, uh, Deuce and started whispering something to him, and I thought he was gonna. Get, I thought the, the SWAT team was gonna come out. <laughs> Stop talking to them about the liquor laws. By the way, I, fi I, I, I filled up a glass of uh, Great Goose uh, up here. I'd say, is, is this like a sword swallowing act to you guys? Like, <laughs> Am I, like, am I like Mel Gibson and be on Thunderdome with the kids? Like, <laughs> oh, the pocket clips! Oh, fly, fly, pilot man! He has a full glass of, of liquor in his hand. All right. I'm not man. It's not you guys. It's the fu fucking government. Uh, and, and, and by government, we mean the ghosts of like weird. What, like, it's got to be like some guy in the 1800s was like, well, they can't have doubles because every time I have a double, I know I want to, you know, I want to rape people. <laughs> because I'm a vile person that makes laws, and I make them because I ask myself, what would, what would I like to do today if I could do anything I wanted to do? Well, I'd eat that little girl, and uh, <laughs> I'd own those black people, and, uh, you know, and I'd, I'd hit them when they did something wrong, and I'd, 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 I'd clobber my wife over the head with a shovel, and like bury her in the backyard. We got, we got to start like making laws against this stuff. Because they're making the mistake of going, oh, everyone's a vile old prick uh, in the world. And uh, it's, it's just, that's the problem. That's why we have to figure out, Jeff, the constitution for Harmontown. And, we, and it has to be like a little, a little piece of code. It has to just be a very simple, got to figure it out before we get back to uh, LA. I think it's do what you want. It is do what you, it's everyone gets to do what they want. But you got to say it like that. Unless... <laughs> As, well, yeah, you gotta say this it's Jeremy Kramer's old bit. Do what you want. <laughs> uh, it's like the mafia. Uh, everyone gets to do whatever they want unless it interferes with someone else's ability to do whatever they want. Dot, 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 question mark. And yeah. I, don't, I don't know what to put in there. I, I, I don't know. Like, and I, if two people both want to do something and they can't both do it without one of them having to do something they don't want or not getting to do whatever they want, I, then you engage in a ritual called patty cake or well if, i think like you know back in the old days like manners were like there was a high premium on on, on courtesy and you know like people opened doors for each other and people like like helped old ladies across the street and put cloaks over puddles and stuff like that i don't know if they really did that might just be in the book <laughs> but um uh maybe they just had more cloaks back then i didn't care as much but uh now like as we have evolved technologically and we evolve as a species courtesy just keep, like, seems just to be something just it's just dying it's like de devolving well, I, I think the whole thing comes down to um, yeah, I want to do this, but I, I, I want to smoke a cigarette, but these people might not want it. And someone walks over and politely goes, hey, man, uh, could you not smoke a cigarette? You know, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, 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 I'll take it outside. Or maybe, or like, like this, have a human conversation about it. Like, be adults. Have some common courtesy is my thing. Yeah, and the, but then there's this, this rise of the passive-aggressive, like, mutant, you know, like somebody who's, who's cool but is always getting what they want, like, leveraging people socially. Like, you have to protect against, you know... Yeah, but like, then you tell that person you're being a dick. Shut up. Well, you know, and then that person can also say you're being a dick for not giving... But it's like, like, like it needs to, there needs to be a little bit of a foolproof. Like, I understand the, the whole idea is be cool. Like, 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 but I, 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 I it's, it's gotta have, here's, here's, here's my theory. There's gotta be a way to back the dollar 
with human life instead of like a mythical piece of gold in Fort Knox or a stock or, a, or the dollar itself or pride in your country. If you were able to back the nation's currency, like because currency is going to be useful still for a little while. We can't all become hippies and run around and kiss gazelle or something. Like, we're gonna, we got a good hundred years left of still needing poker chips to get through our day, like, like like to make transactions. I say though, you can back that currency with like it's like a video game. Like when you're playing a video game, so there are video games where you're like walking down the street and then there's like a thing that goes, someone needs help, and then you go and help them, and then you get some bonus points. And they're actual points that you can use to get a bigger gun and blow the fuck out of something. <laughs> like there's, they're, they're, it's like shit that you can use to to, to make yourself cooler. I, I, at the very least, when you show up, because I, I, I've discussed this before. I'm just saying like like if I'm walking down the street and there's a guy laying on the sidewalk in a puddle of his own piss and he's going like, ah, had a bad day today can you help me out my reason for not stopping and having a conversation with him and seeing how I can help him is I'm late for lunch I got shit to do I got a, I got a script to finish I got all this stuff to do so and the reason I got to finish my script or, or be on time to lunch with my friend all that stuff just has to do with capitalism really it just has to do with like 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 okay I, I'll, I'll end up like him if I help him I'll end up with, like him if I help him so all you have to do is reverse that and say if I help him I, the opposite. I, I, like, 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 so that when we see a guy laying in the, in the middle of the sidewalk in a puddle of his own piss, we go, holy shit, I can't believe I found one. Like, <laughs> this is like a hidden package in Grand Theft Auto. Like, I, I just stumbled. There's, do you know how rare these are? People who need my help? I'm, fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm rich. <laughs> I like, and because if I help them, then it's like I get, I get like points. I get like a power up of some kind. And, because, and, and, and then because the whole country works that way, we're, we're the most powerful country in the world because all the other countries go like, oh, that country where everybody's fuck, nobody's laying on the sidewalk in their own piss. They're all, they all, they all, they all just, every time someone starts to have a bad day, eight people jump on him and help him so that they can profit off of it karmically. And so everyone lives in a fucking like penthouse yeah, over no, there. That, that Everyone's guy, like floating around and... But then you're, you're talking about destroying capital. So then now, uh, like, so if you replace uh, helping people with capital, like, like the whole point is that we've got to a place where capital is the whole point. Accumulation of wealth is the definition of success. Competition is a good thing. You know, getting ahead of other people. Yeah, but but like a couple thousand years ago, the definition of poor was you know you lived until 25 if someone didn't come into your house, stab you in the face, and fuck the stab hole. Like <laughs> that's not what it means to be poor anymore. Now being now being poor means you eat a Big Mac out of a dumpster and you have a coat that someone gave you. Like 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 you're still you're still walking around without a house and you get fucking cold and you die sooner. But with, like, like, like the poverty, the definition of, of, of the 99% like, like keeps going up. We can, we can increase that by a thousand fold. That's my theory. I'm no economics professor, but I, I, I don't think that capitalism necess it, yes, it means that, that, that there's like a pyramid in place and that there's competition in place, but, but why can't the poorest person in the world have like a, a, a giant TV and get to play video games and, and oh he and, could and, but it profits it profits none you know more, enough food goes to waste every day to feed almost everybody and you know there's, there's certainly enough housing and clothing for everybody but prices have to be at a certain place we have to make sure that rich white gross people uh, uh, c control shit they don't, they don't they don't they don't have to be it's just that that's been the easy way to do it to, to uh, you know. Uh, and, and it's all kind of falling apart anyway. Like like rich people, like there, there's a there's a shorter path to like, you know, keeping poor people poor. Like that's the make, that's what makes sense to a rich person. But like if you challenge them, they tend to uh, figure well, the thing, shit the out. Thing, the thing that bums me out is like a room like this. There's no government in here. There's, uh, this this is this is the, the proper definition of anarchism. I mean, there's nobody ruling anybody. Yeah, if somebody here. just stood up and was like, Ah, Jesus Christ! I'm gonna shit on my hand and throw it at you. <laughs> No cop can help me. Like, like <laughs> that guy. That guy becomes in charge. He's Bane now. He's. <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 I'm headlining at words, guys. Like, I'm the new Kevin Nealon. <laughs> There's a lot of Kevin Nealon pictures on the wall here. Like, yes. Kevin, Kevin Nealon is there. Is, he, is Kevin Nealon a part owner here? <laughs> did, did Kevin Nealon like resuscitate a dying pregnant woman here? 
Was he like in the middle of his act and like a woman was like, I'm six months pregnant and choking on a hot wing. And he's like, excuse me. And like just brought her back to life and gave her a thousand dollars. And then, and then, and then, Kevin, and then Kevin, before you go, how can, how can we repay you? Your, your, your thanks is enough. No, how can we repay you? Put up 400 photos of you. <laughs> Create a system of laws in my name that make it hard to drink. Uh, I am the Neelan. He's like the Stargate guy. Yeah. Okay, he'll come back every once in a while and suppress literacy. And, but he gets worshipped here. Uh, anyways, like if that, yeah, that guy. If a guy stood up and like fucking tried to choke me to death. You would be the people that helped me. You, right. you, you would, you would save me, possibly, <laughs> and vice versa. Like, 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 we have wait staff here. We have maybe, a, maybe we have a bouncer here. We have, you know, we. These are all, these are all private anarchic roles. Like, 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 we put, like, you, you need a bouncer and you need a wait person and you need, you need a club owner and you need a performer and you need an audience and then we, we're, we're not animals. We know how to fucking behave ourselves. We don't need a fucking senator to tell us like, like what left from right is. But the moment Those we- are the only people that don't ever do anything. It just, it fucking confounds me how we've like, we've created a new society where we, it's, you know how like, 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 like bees, like they, 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 they raise their own royalty. They could, they're just sitting there as larvae, you could fucking eat them. Like, like, and then these queens hatch and then they sting the other queens to death and then they take over and these, these poor soldiers are just like, oh, thank God we have a queen again. Like, we, I understand the, the desire for comfort and leadership, but we, in, in America, the idea of that was that we, those people are civil servants. It's like, here, you're not wearing a crown. You're wearing a clip-on tie. Get to work, motherfucker, so I can go do the shit I enjoy. I want to be a radio DJ. I want to be a dentist. I want to, I want to dig a ditch and, and then, like, punch a clock and, and not worry about shit from 8 p.m. to, to, to 6 a.m. Uh, some, some people might prefer doing that shit. None of us want to balance the budget and make the garbage trucks run on time. That's why we elect officials. The president is supposed to be a top-of-the-line fucking dipshit civil servant. He's not supposed to be someone that we that we cower in the presence of. And and and, and most importantly that people like literally murder and cheat and lie and steal to try to become because they have the most power in the world. It, I, it got, and, and all these fucking lawmakers. All right, anyway, sorry. Let's do a fart corner. Sports corner. Sports corner. Hold on, I got to cue up the music. Fart Sports corner offsets the political rants. Fart corner is the place where the dignity dance. Fart corner All right, fart corner. Is that time again? Fart. fart corner. Fart corner. Fart. Fart corner. Fart corner. Get ready to get farted on by your favorite farter, Dan Harmon. What's your name? Deuce. <laughs> What's your name? Fulton. No, it's not. <laughs> Woo! Fart corner. <laughs> Sorry about the armchair politics. But when we go to the moon, I, t- I swear to God, like the fir- the fir- when we go to the moon, the first person I catch talking about me like I'm in charge gets shot. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I, I overreacted, I overreacted. Jeez. <laughs> Said the guy not in charge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to, it's, it's complicated, it's yeah. complicated. We have to work it out, but... Uh, I knew that Salt Lake City was the place to talk about this because they're living. They're living in a. They're. 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 they're they are. They come face to face with the, the absurd hypocrisy every day. They live in a, a, a in a lake made of salt. <laughs> are, are you are, are you guys proud of living here? Is this a place that people are, like take pride in living in? <laughs> well, who would say no? Oh, it, was, it was a measured. Like, Ju- Juice is shaking his head. No, some people are like, yeah. Yeah, but there's an elitist effect too. Like, you could ask that in Brooklyn. Like, well, well that was, okay. I just like, 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 like towns that aren't New York or LA. Like, they, we have this kind of elitist like training too to go like, oh, I live in Denver, but I, sorry, I burped. Uh, <laughs> I live in Denver, but I don't like it. Can I leave with you? You know, like, 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 like. There's places like, 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 like and it's self hatred. I've been like here a bunch of times, and I don't know anything really about this town. We, we, have, we, 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 last night, I don't think we really got to meet the true Denver. I don't know, it's, it's nice to. We're, we, we leave right after the show. We hop on. The, we have a couple of drinks. We get on the bus and we go to Portland. Well, you know, Utah. I mean, there's no better way to get to know a community that you're in, Jeff, than familiarizing it, yourself with its uh, active sports community. <laughs> yeah. Well, you love sports. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's that time again. Sports Corner! Hey everybody, it's a lot like Fart Corner. It's a lot, it's a lot like Fart Corner, but less people get farted on. He's gonna fart on your favorite sports teams, Dan Harmon. Sports Corner. Sports Corner. Utah. All right, Dan. Uh, you've been pretty, uh, pretty vocal in the past about uh, about the Jazz. Uh, yeah. what, what do you, what, what's what's your problem with this team? Why do you come down so hard on Jeff? Defense. This is a game about defense. <laughs> the Jazz needs to understand that if you're not protecting the ball, you're actively attacking it for the other team. Yeah. And that that is a simple thing. Our moms told us that when we would play uh, the Jazz's now, game. Dan, do you think? I mean. He's, 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 he's a little older, he's still, he's still putting the numbers up. Do you think it was wise to re-sign Carl Malone? I think Carl Malone, I think Carl Malone uh, is, a, is, a, is a legend, but he's a functional legend. Like, there's legends and then there's fossils. So you look at Kubrick, you look at... Uh, you look at Hitchens on the Nuggets, you look at, uh, I don't know, Tiger Woods out there in the seventh inning of the last Clippers game. Um, like, 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 Malone... Malone is different from Woods, different from Kubrick, right. different from Hitchens, in that he he's a functional legend. He still has value. Most importantly, leadership. The other uh, 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 jazz, yeah. The other jazzes are gonna are gonna look at Malone, <laughs> and they're gonna remember what it's like to be proud of the jazz. Right. Uh, listen. Uh... It's a game about spirit and mind. Like, I don't know what, what, what people think moves that ball from, from, from left to right out there, but uh, it's, 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 it's not just yardage. It's handicaps. It's, 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 it's icing the knee. It's, it's, it's taking things quarter by quarter, and it's leadership. It's belief in that your team can do it, and Malone brings that to the Jazz. All right. You, that's now, what the, frankly, that's what the Jazz has been missing. I'm not going to win any popularity contest saying this, but, 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 but Malone belongs on that team, and Hitler was right. Sports Corner, brought to you by the Bisco. The Bisco. Sports Corner. Yeah. Sports Corner. Sports Corner. Secret racist agenda in Sports Corner. Don't know what they call it. Sports Corner. Snuck in a pro Nazi message to the end. <laughs> Uh, it's just that simple. Sometimes, sometimes you catch it, sometimes you don't. Yeah. I mean, so, some, some, some of your racist agenda is more subtle than other times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That time you just said Hitler was right. You just Don Ernest, right he got caught, you know? Yeah. Jimmy the Greek, he got caught. I'm very, I'm very cool about it. I'll slip it in. Yeah. <laughs> like, like uh, I, I, give, I give a boom goes the dynamite. Hitler was right. Okay. <laughs> what do you think Hitler did right? I mean, I mean, I mean top ten. Yardage. Top yardage. yardage. Mostly yardage. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, he really, he really put up some yardage against Poland in 1939. <laughs> he was first in completions, yeah. Jeff. Always be attacking, yeah. He did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th this is going to end up out of context on Huffington Post uh, or TMZ. Uh, and the word Chevy Chase is going to get mentioned seven times. <laughs> oh, well. That's life in the tank cloud. It's a tank cloud society now, Jeff. It really is. Got to keep that ball moving. Uh, you, you know, I feel like uh, if there's been one good thing, and there's been many good things about this Harmon tour that we've been doing, but speaking of the internet and the, uh, the benefits that it has, I think if we do one thing in this tour is that we've released into the ether and into the ethos of the country and possibly the world a gentleman named Spencer Crittenden. Oh, yeah. Spencer. Spencer to the stage. Spencer, are you with us? Spencer Crittenden, everybody! Ooh. Approaching the table. <laughs> Wearing his vintage community shirt, he sets down his bag with an earth-shattering thud. <laughs> the mics are hot, but the crowd is hotter. His beard contains secrets and scrambled eggs. <laughs> He's a better rapper. Yeah, yeah. We, we, Spencer uh, did a rap debut last night in Denver. Everybody. Yeah, it hasn't podcast yet, so we're letting you know. Spencer has emerged as the master rapper of the of the tour bus. Um, I don't feel like that the battle has re really reached its fever pitch, though. I no, think, no, I no. Think someone's that, gonna die. I think that was the first. That was the opening cling clang of a sword fight. I, we haven't really got up that staircase and swiped the candles in half yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, can we talk about Gobbler's Knob a little bit? <laughs> I was laying in my bunk in the tour bus, and we were about 45 minutes out from Salt Lake City, and I'm looking on the map of where we are, and I, I notice a little town 
way out. I don't even know if any roads connect it to the highway we're on. It's but just it's, a knob. I don't even know if it's a town. It's well, a, there is a place on a map known as Gobbler's Knob, which I th- that's, that's, that's what I would call a town if you let me name towns. Has yeah. anybody been to Gobbler's Knob? Really? Yeah. It's uh, not that, has, any, has anybody heard of Gobbler's Knob? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, pull it up on the map. We should all go after the show. We should yeah. all go to Gobbler's Knob. <laughs> They, they, yeah. they changed the name. It used to be really embarrassing. Like it was like a, a it was a just just penis dick <laughs> cock swallow valley. Yeah, they, uh, boner huffer. Yeah. <laughs> gobbler's knob. I love that it's not knob gobblers. It's gobbler's yeah. knob. Gobbler's Hi, knob. Hi, I'm Carl Gobbler. There's a knob where you can have a nice glass of lemonade with me, Carl Gobbler. Gobbler. Why isn't there a band called Gobbler's Knob? It's so good. Gobbler's knob. Gobbler's knob. You know, every everything in Gobbler's knob like like is very, very serious. You know that they have to be very serious there. If there's people that live there, you know they're like experts at keeping it cool and like like there's there's like eight libraries every block. Like like because they're like it's we live in Gobbler's knob, so like like somebody fucking compensate here. <laughs> Dan said earlier they probably have a really good Holocaust museum there. <laughs> yeah, anything serious, like like <laughs> They're experts in the serious. They, 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 like it's, it's all in it's, it's an offset, you know. There's a there's a sign as you go into Gobbler's Knob. It says, "Welcome to Gobbler's Knob. This is a serious place. Yeah. This is for real. <laughs> did, you you didn't come here to to make fun of us, did you? <laughs> you, if you oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You want a T-shirt? We get it. <laughs> if they had any brains, there's a big sign that says, "Welcome to Gobbler's Knob," and there's a gift shop yeah, right there. Yeah. <laughs> get your T-shirt. Yeah, there's a turkey sucking a dick. When I was. Uh, <laughs> There was a guy in a, <laughs> there was a guy in Milwaukee. I'm from, I, I just want a t-shirt with a turkey stuck in a neck. <laughs> I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and there's a, uh, uh, a, a, there was a war hero there from there that fought in World War II, I think, and, uh, and he had parks named after him and some streets named after him, and his last name was Bong. And, uh, and there was a Bong wreck area. Like a, <laughs> And, and it was, the sign was like cold riveted. <laughs> like, like, like there was, a, there was, it would say Bong Record is this little sign that was just like a, a, any, any nor, nor ordinary sign for anything else, but it was like fucking eight bolts per yeah. centimeter. <laughs> <laughs> there was like just, razor wire going up to it. Giant, gi- giant chisel marks on the side <laughs> of it. And, yeah. and they, they actually, I saw an interview with his granddaughter or something. Like, who's still a Milwaukee uh, kind of socialite or philanthropist or something, and the bong name lives on in Milwaukee. And the, I, I, the journalist had to just be doing it as a, as a bit. It was like this interview with this woman that was like, she, she, was just, she just didn't understand why, why is it the most stolen sign in all of Wisconsin? <laughs> why, why do people keep stealing the bong wreck area sign? <laughs> Uh, I don't, I, he, was a, he was a war hero. He tried to do good with his life, but I don't know if they're, I, I don't know if they're being disrespectful or if they just appreciate history. Like she, uh, it's because it's, it looks perfect in your basement. It's because it's, there, there will never be enough bong wreck areas to put that sign up. Spencer, I saw uh, on the Instagrams that you and uh, Aaron made snow angels and you did it in your shorts. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> did you bring pants? I brought one pair of jeans. Are they magic jeans? Do they, all, do they have one use? Are you saving them for something? Oh yeah, they recharge every couple of days, so <laughs> I've been cycling them. Is it for you, like, like when people tell me to tie my shoe, like people telling you to not wear shorts? It's just obnoxious because people think that because they're little wusses about weather <laughs> that I am and I, I'm just fine. I was fine in Bloomington. I was fine in Chicago. Um, I'm fine here. So you're, you, you, you're not doing it to prove a point. You're doing it because you're more comfortable that way. Well, at some point when people start telling you to put on pants, you do it to prove a point. Right. But honestly, I, I'm fine. If I thought I'd be more comfortable wearing pants, would have just put them on. <laughs> but the worst thing is imagine when I, when I was a kid, people would tell me, take a shower, you got to comb your hair, take a shower, you stink, you're a piece of shit. And, uh, and then, and then the wor- the, like, one day I took a shower and combed my hair and got on the bus and, and all the eighth graders were like, whoa! 
Oh, look at the dude, dude. Jimmy's kid, man. Give me, give me five. Fucking seriously, man. Good job, good job. And I was like, never again, motherfucker. <laughs> you just redefined uh, lack of hygiene. I, 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 am, I, am, I am going to be a millionaire, and I'm going to smell like a butt. <laughs> You've done it. You've, yes. you've accomplished your dream. Yeah. yeah, I took a shower in the hotel today. You can't even tell. I'm, I've got, I, I'm so dirty, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm, I'm 800 showers behind. <laughs> I, have to, say, I have to take like 80 showers in a row. Our, our tour bus uh, smells pretty good. I thought by, certainly by the halfway point it would be smelling like a locker room on there, but it's, it's pretty good. I've never, you know, people tell me, like, like, like girlfriends and stuff, they go, you know, you talk about your lack of hygiene, but you actually don't stink that bad. And I think, I think you know, your body's covered with this, like, this symbiotic, like, like community of microbes, you know? And it, when, you, when, you, when you wash, you, like, kind of disrupt it a little bit. I'm not saying people shouldn't wash. I'm just saying, like... Like part of the part of your immune system, your body's immune system that fights off like weird germs and stuff from the outside world. Part of why we've all been touching bathroom doorknobs forever without having there be a giant epidemic is because your body is there's no real estate on your body for germs because it's covered in germs, your own germs. Like you have just it's wall to wall. The entire surface of your skin is is shoulder to shoulder fucking you know, boogans and stuff. So is this like some kind of revisionist uh, hygiene history? Of no, it's, it's true. Look it up. Google it, you yeah. fuckers. You, you cleanists. If you take too many showers, you'll like break out more often and stuff because it, it wipes out that bacteria that would otherwise be kind of protecting it. And I think Aaron says like, because I'll, I'll not take a shower for for many days. <laughs> um, and, uh, and Aaron said, uh, you don't really start to, you don't just start to stink. Like, like you just start gradually to smell more and more like bread. <laughs> I've smelled you when you stink, it ain't bread. <laughs> well, I mean, that's I, I, then, then I, I don't love you. I know, we're never gonna fuck. Uh, yeah, but maybe that's like a, a body chemistry thing. You know? I think so. Yeah. I think I think people's noses and other people's BO are like, like key. You know, there's a thing, there's a, like a, it's like a speed dating thing. Uh, I mean, there's a thing for anything. I could make this up, but I'm not. I, some, somebody told me about this. The, uh, the, uh, I, I, I don't know where they're doing this, but it's kind of, it's like a speed dating kind of weird thing where people get together. You you don't shower for uh, a day or or two days. I don't know what it is. You you take the clothes um, and then you fr you you freeze them. You bring them to this this gathering, and then you, and then the people do this speed dating thing where these thawed uh, B.O. shirts, like no cologne, no deodorant, but it's just, it's just your B.O. Men, men and women, there's like these anonymous piles of clothes, and people go around in circles and they smell the, the, the clothes. <laughs> and, and you write down like what you're okay with, like what, what, what you're, uh, you know, like, oh, shirt number eight, like, a, a, I don't mind that, it smells like my dad or something, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. <laughs> and, uh, and, it, 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 it's, I, can, I can tell that person hasn't had a shower for two days, but at the same time, I wasn't I wasn't repel, repelled by it. And uh, and 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 yeah, I, I I I I'll tell you in the next podcast whether or not it's working. I don't know. If like, <laughs> Eighty people have been married, and, and uh, I don't know. That's all I heard. Is it's I an heard interesting concept. Like there was like you could do personality tests. They uh, they gave people shirts and had them wear them around for like a week, and then they gave them to a lab, and then they gave them to uh, people who weren't trained to like understand, and they'd like made them smell it and said. What, what do you think about this person who wore this shirt? And they were like actually pretty accurate compared to if you just um, looked at the person and tried to form a judgment. Interesting. Makes yeah. sense. I mean, granted, our noses as primates have been totally shut down. Like that's why we can't. We're we're blown away by dogs and cats because we used to have snouts like that. Um, but and, and we have our eyes move forward to the front of our head to get stereoscopic color vision. And all this equipment, all this, all this like, computer equipment up behind your nose, like that had to get like kind of liquidated and like sold, like and shut down. So we, we, our noses compared to dogs are like, like dog, no, dogs noses are pretty much their eyes. Like dogs smell as much as we see. Uh, uh, and they, they're, they're, like, they, they just use their eyes to like not bump into a wall and like kind of zero in on the butthole to smell. <laughs> but then when that, then that butthole is like the Facebook page. Like they, they, I, 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 I'm not the first person to bring this up at Wise Guys uh, in Salt Lake City. <laughs> I'm sure Kevin Nealon's got 20 minutes on this. <laughs> 
but, <laughs> but there's a there's a wealth of information they, they, they get out of that but all we get is it's it's a it smells like poop um, but that being said I think there is more to smell than we are used to uh, to experience it anyways we're, yeah, we, we got deep tonight, Salt Lake. I mean, you can't say you didn't, uh, you didn't, you, that, that Dan Herman didn't come to your town and confuse you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's what the shit's all about. Should we, uh, should, should, should we go out in the crowd and find us? We, we have to make our connection, man. We, we're not, we're not going to be here long. Okay, you want to you wanna, you wanna make a personal connection with someone I, I, at Salt I mean, Lake? Yeah, it's hard, it's hard well, I mean, I, I like to go with, so, with, with people who are feeling pain. Like, I, like, I, like, like not necessarily physical. Like, 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 someone who thinks they had a pretty bad day. And it, does, it really doesn't have to be in a funny way, but anybody that's willing to like talk about like, I don't know, you're going through some shit. Like, like if, if it's a breakup that you're not able to get over or like a job transition or a, a long spate of unemployment. Uh, what's that? Are you, are you volunteering yourself? Like going like, I got some job troubles? Sure. Oh, okay, let's bring them up. Let's what's your name? Hey, I'm Craig. Craig, Craig, everybody. This is Craig. From Wisconsin. Oh, Craig from Wisconsin. Yeah, Craig. I don't know why people didn't instinctively applaud you when you came up onto the stage. Maybe, maybe you smell weird. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they, maybe they. Uh, uh, Craig, so you're, 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 you're specifically you're having a hard time transitioning occupationally. Is yeah. That... Um, I, I taught art for 20 years, Dan, and um, last year I had to resign just because of this. State of Wisconsin has got some really Oh, God, yeah, yeah. Wisconsin has horrible on. things going on educationally, yes. My, my, my brother's wife is a teacher there. Ouch. But now I'm trying to figure out what to do next, man. I, yeah, well... Uh, Have you considered the Dan Harmon look-alike contest? It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's tomorrow night. Auburn, Utah. Uh, what's the grand prize? Is it a... Let's, let's, get a, let's get a picture together here, at the very least. Um, the, uh, well, can, can you tell us, Craig, like, like... Like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, over here. <laughs> wow. That's nice. Here, let me, let me wear your glasses for a second. Sure. <laughs> so, Craig, uh, tell me about your job. Hey, uh, look, I was a teacher for uh, 20 years, Dan. And uh, Wisconsin's fucked up, you know. It's, uh, now, now I'm looking for more work. No, you uh, tell us, Craig. Uh, it's Craig. Oh, I, 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 I was gonna say while Craig was Dan, I was gonna make him rap. <laughs> Craig, can you, can you, can you? Yeah. Well, wait. Can you just get, get, get him? We'll build, we'll build up to it. Yeah, we'll yeah, build yeah. Up no, because I want to hear about this Wisconsin thing because I keep hearing about it. It's my home state. Shit is fucked up there. So like, specifically, it's it's more it's more fucked up. Like education, it's, it's, like, like 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 this is this is one of the it's you know it's a hot button. It's a liberal thing, but it's like it's also so fucking true. Like our I like like it's it's one of the cheapest things that we could be spending money on. One I, of the, I like, love like, the kids too, man. It's, I love the kids, but it's there's so many rules that are. It, not working. It's so easy to like suck money out of that out of that sector, and it's it makes no sense. It only makes sense to creepy rich people because they don't get rich the next day by put by by putting any money into the idea that yeah, but tw like it happens so fast. Twenty years from now, you're gonna feel the. Anyways, to, to tell us like, specifically what's going on in Wisconsin. It has to do with like unions and stuff. Right? Uh, yeah, they they kind of busted up the unions for the teachers and. Um, and now the administrators of all the school districts can make up their own set of rules. So I'm not supposed to speak about this, but I had 40 kids in my classroom to try to teach art to at once. And it's like, 40 kids is a lot of kids. That was, that was par for the course when I was in high school oh, in uh, well Milwaukee Public mind. Schools. Never mind. <laughs> no, there's our 6,000 student schools. Okay. Like, I went to Marshall, Marshall High before I went to Brown Deer. Okay. And I was like, there were, was it 6,000? Uh, 4,000 kids. Uh, and, uh, and, then, and then I went to the suburbs and it was 600 kids and, the, and, the, and it was like 15 or 20 kids in a class. But when I, was in, when I was in Milwaukee public schools, there would be 30, 40 kids in the class. Especially in an art class where it's like, oh, you have to take art. Ugh. We don't want to spend any money on it. You yeah, just six, six, six kids to a paintbrush and, you know, like, because who's going to enforce this? I, I, I loved art class, but again, we had 30, 40 kids in my class and you, I, I, don't, I barely remember that teacher's name because you, you, you got no personal interaction with, like, we were all making clay you know, statues and stuff like that. There was no input. There was no connection at all. Amen. And so you, you, you end up doing a thing and you get a grade on it, but you don't know what you did. You don't know why you did it. You don't, there's, no, there's no interaction at all. There's no, there's no nurturing or mentoring at all. I mean, that must be especially hard on an art teacher oh, where yeah. it's all about expression. Well, you want them to be unique, right? 
You don't want them to be cookie cutters and whatnot, so. Yeah, they're like human beings. Like, you have no idea. Like, we, we obviously, we, in the grand scheme of things, what happened is we, we, we know that education is important. We know that our kids have to go to school. And then all of a sudden, this becomes like this. It, 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 this, we have to have the system, so it's like, and then how do you allocate funding to the system? Because it's not socialism, it's, it's the government funds this, this thing, so how much should we fund it? Well, what are your test scores in this school? Uh, okay, so if our test scores are this, then we get this amount of money for microscopes, and if they don't, and the whole thing gets fucked up by guess what? Money. Like, we should, it's no place in medicine or education. I'm sorry to just be a typical liberal, but like, 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 like how, how, how much more clear could it be that, sh that, that, like, education and medicine, like, 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 the dollar getting near that stuff, like, how, it, it, like, like, it's only a couple minutes before the, for the fucking weird paradoxes start to happen. Um, so what, do, what, do we have to do in Wisconsin. I'll make it happen tonight, Craig. Awesome. Um, All right, so are, are you are you out of a job now? Are you retired, or are you? Are you, are you, are you I'm, um, I'm currently unemployed. And what, do you want to get back into teaching again? Uh, part of me will always be a teacher, but I, I wanna I wanna come with Dan and, and write movies. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you guys could like go to meetings. Like, you, Dan could sleep. Yeah, we could, <laughs> you could go in. Yeah, it's like an Olsen twins movie. We could, <laughs> let's trick them. Yeah. Nick. Dan, you know, you'd be sleeping in the car, and Dan would come out, like you tag out, you'd put his shirt on, and you'd smell like him, and you'd okay. go in the meeting. Zemeckis wants a movie about a giant. Go. Wait a second, Dan. Dan Harmon. You know, we we broke for lunch. Were you weren't you wearing glasses earlier before you before you oh, went to lunch? Uh, yes. Uh, the better to see you with, Mr. Spielberg. <laughs> okay. It's just like, you were being a real asshole a couple hours ago, but now I really like you. You seem a little older and wiser now. <laughs> you seem more artistic. Yeah. You smell different. Uh, all right, well, 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 aside from taking you to L.A., I mean, come to L.A., write a screenplay, cool. you know. Um, have, you ever, uh, have you ever written screenplays before? Is that something you dabble in? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, 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 what kind of genre of stuff do you do? Um, I've, I've done some uh, 101 pieces. Oh. So I, oh, really? I, uh, yeah, I think... Channel 101 he's talking about, or yeah, non nonprofit. A, for, I uh, did a, a, a puppet uh, art teacher from Wisconsin uh, called Whackjack years ago. Hmm. So it, that one? It, it didn't make it in? That might ring a bell. It didn't make it into the screening? Uh, it, it was the seventh one voted off. So oh. it didn't make it quite in. All right. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it would have changed my life. Yeah. Way no. To go. Way to go, Herman. If you want to change your life, all you got to do is rap. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I'll start. <laughs> I'll start. You teach art. You're unemployed. I just parted. <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I fucked your mama like her name was Hewitt. <laughs> Hewitt? Sorry, I'll start over. Break down Salt Lake City. <laughs> Only thing that rhymes with that is your mama's Jimmy. titty. <laughs> Lake made of salt, drove to get here with ice instead of asphalt. The bus almost tipped over three times. Now I'm gonna express it through rhyme. It's a hard place to get to, but I love the people here. I fucked your mama so hard her titty sprayed beer. <laughs> Craig, coming to the mic. Craig's coming to the mic. Yeah. Here's Tom, here at the school. Mr. Harmon is feeling so cool. Hey there, buddy, don't do nothing fun. Cause if you do, you're gonna kill the sun. Yo. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah. wow she, she got this, mythical. Oh, yeah, that's mythical. It's yeah. a piece of Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> when you eat the sun every time you make a painting. Holy shit, uh, my, 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 uh, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> hey, 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 the, the sun just got eaten. The right, sun yeah, just got okay. eaten. Sky black as cloth, can't see anything. I fucked your mama so hard her pussy started to sing. <laughs> said la la la, and I said shh. <laughs> right. So a story is building. <laughs> so, just, so, so, so far, just, just, to keep, just to keep it up to date. Uh, a woman's titty sprayed beer, <laughs> and then someone got bad grades in school, so the sun got eaten, and uh, and then now a woman's pussy is singing. Yeah. Maybe we can connect those dots. Okay. Uh, <laughs> take a quick. The sun is gone. Hey, mom, she's quite the fox, cause she's the one with the singing box. So don't go there. She's not here. Everybody, go get a beer. Oh, so Salt Lake Craig rounded up for us, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Salt Lake Craig, everybody. Yeah. All right. For God's sake, support education every time you. Uh, every time you get all excited, thank you, Craig. Uh, every four years, you know, we have this big ritual where we pretend that the, the one guy we vote for is going to make a huge fucking difference for four years. There's also a bunch of other stuff on the ballot. Every time you see the word education, say yes. I, 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 because there's no way you will ever go broke giving money to teachers in schools. It's impossible. Uh, uh, here's some stuff that costs a lot of money. Giant fucking weapons like that will never be useful against a guy who is who is born in a crater uh, uh, and just wants to blow shit up with his own body. Like like n like like we could we with the tanks we'll keep they will keep. Uh, 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 let's melt a couple of them down and turn them into erasers. I think that's how that works. <laughs> So we, we, we made a human connection. Your there, but... city, your state, like the 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 the, 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 lo the lower the more local your politics get, the more important they are. The pothole outside your house needs filling. It gets filled or not filled based on a person or a community going like, let's fill the pothole, take those resources, and allocate them. A Walmart getting built on your corner, that's like local shit. You know, the, 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 the stop sign that stops a car accident, that stops people from dying. We argue about the dumbest, fakest shit. I'm 40 years old. You guys are, some of you are 25. Like, you think gay marriage and abortion, is it, is it, they made it up. They made it up. They're pretending these are issues because they're all in fucking cahoots with each other. Fuck these guys. Um, just like, 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 like local politics are kind of important. All politics are bullshit, but local politics are a little more, you get a little fucking yardage uh, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you decide to put- It's all about yardage, man. Yardage, it's all about yardage. <laughs> Uh, uh, don't, don't, yeah, it's, it's getting tangled and crazy in Wisconsin because, uh, uh, you know, you know, we get, we get, we start thinking that we need some Superman in the White House in order to change the world, and all that guy is is just a, you know, he, he's, I'm sure he's a great guy, but what the fuck is he gonna do? Except to walk around and not embarrass me when he talks. That's why I voted for him. <laughs> I literally just voted for Obama because it was like, oh, he can speak. Like, like, like I'm so embarrassed. Uh, was everybody crazy for, I mean, like the, the Mormon community here, was everybody really wild for Mitt during the election? Oh, yeah. yeah. I wanna, I, I'm curious about the Mormon thing. Like, I know like, I, like a good half of the population here is still actually, more, maybe not here, but uh, like, like, what? How, how many, how many Mormons do we have by applause in the audience in a Harmontown audience? Oh, quite a few. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Twenty uh, percent, maybe. Uh, that makes You're an ex Mormon. The, yeah. the city was founded Jack by Mormon, uh, by Mormons and is now like basically, according to Wikipedia, half half non Mormon. I mean, it's a it's a capital city and a city of industry now. Isn't it? Not about Mormonism anymore, necessarily. There's not like a Mormon train like that's propelled by Mormonism. <laughs> the, tr the train is, uh, has electricity in it. And, uh, the, the, the banks have money in them, not snakes. Um, I don't know what Mormons believe. But, uh, I think they talk to snakes, I can't remember. <laughs> Should we get a Mormon person up here? Oh yeah, can we have a Mormon up? Let's have a Mormon, uh, a real, not, not, not a Jack Mormon. Not a, let's, 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 get, let's, let's, let's get, let's get, let's get a gal up. Let's get a woman on stage. Okay, yeah, let's have a female, a female, female, female local. Mormon that won't be a, a, a we want a Mormon, uh, a, a, a proud Mormon. Are you, are you not a self-loathing Mormon? Okay. What's your name, miss? Talitha. Okay, say again? Talitha. Talitha? Talitha. Talitha. Like urethra. Uh, <laughs> like urethra? Yeah. Uh, I, met, I met a guy, there was a guy that had me sign his book at, 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 after the show, uh, and, uh, and he's, uh, he said, can you make, everybody's got a weird name, like Ridley and Ridgely and Blake, Blaker and Blue Blue. We like Blue, to come Blue. up with, yeah, the more original, the better. There's a thousand the ways to spell Aaron. There's a thousand ways to spell Michael. It's, I, I always ask, but, and, then, and I was so used to asking, like, get, get the right spelling. The guy said, like, uh, uh, can you make it out to Jathan? And I, and I was like, yeah, J-A-T-H-A-N? And he's like, no, J-A-S-O-N. Uh -oh. I, I have a horrible speech impediment. <laughs> It's really bad. It's so bad that I sound like a cartoon. Thanks for pointing uh, that out. And I was like, oh my god. But he was, I mean, he was, you yeah. know, he's a Harmenian, so he was... What a drag to have a lisp when you have an S in your name. That's a drag. That's a bummer. Yeah. Uh, all right, sorry. So well, her, her name might be Talisa. We don't know. Maybe she has a... That's what I was saying. That's a, that's a joke I was making. But no, it's urethra, right? What is it? Right. 
Uh, and you're, you're our first Mormon that I know of. I don't know if anyone was a closet Mormon that we've had on the, on the show. Uh, and we're in, we're in the Mormon capital of the, of the country. Uh, and uh, um, I don't know what to ask. What do we, what do we, what do we do with the Mormon, Jeff? Uh, I don't know. I, 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 it occurs to me that I, know, I, I really know nothing about Mormonism except the, the, the Mormon families that were in my high school. And they were, I know that they were very tightly knit, very large families generally, and uh, very, very, very close. And they had the little, their little home evening or home, what do you call that? Family, family home? Family home evening. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are, are, you, are you like, do you still do that with your family? Is it, yeah. is it, is it still a big, you, are you covering a large family as well? I do. Well, I have I have a pretty big family for, um, I don't know by whose standards, but like I I've got I actually have five kids and I'm 31. Wow, hey. <laughs> and that's a big deal because Jeff, what I've heard about Mormons is that you all get your own planet, like in the afterlife. <laughs> that's what, that's one of the eight things that I've heard about Mormonism, is that the, the part of the a scheme of the afterlife involves like oh, a, I, your own I've world. Actually, I've, I've had three kids, and then we adopted two kids, too. Mm. But yeah, big families is pretty common. I've heard, the, so, so. so are these things like, are they caricatures? Like, I remember when 9-11 happened, all the ticker tape on CNN could talk about is the 70 virgins. Like, because everyone wanted to know why, who would do this, why would they do it? And, and that, that was the talking point. Let's, let's find the weirdest, silliest sounding thing about Islam that we can and just repeat it over and over again. Well, they think in heaven that your dick is a pine tree. <laughs> and, you know, like, like, like. Hey, they already blew up a building. We already hate them. Like, we don't have to, like, 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 like if, 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 why did they do it? I'm just wondering, like, uh, th because Christianity uh, ha has all kinds of weird shit about it that if you focused in on, and, 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 and Judaism and, and everything, it, it, like, like uh, for a modern Mormon, can we, what do we talk about? Magic underwear, I've heard. I've heard about the planet like, that everyone gets when they die. And, and no coffee. No coffee? Is that a, that, that's Amish, isn't it? <laughs> no, co a, oh, no stimulants. No, yeah, no Diet Coke, right? There's, yeah, there's a. It's kind of yeah, like a health code kind of. So, right. So um, I don't drink alcohol, um, and you stay away from addictive substances just in general. Right. So. You get to have cool haircuts though. I do have a pretty Yeah, there's no haircut. rule against that. She looks very cool. Uh, I, I'm telling the podcast audience that sounded patronizing. Uh, if, you, if, 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 if you had a podcast audience you were casually reporting to, you would sound sarcastic sometimes, like, like the person at the bank would go, you can't have your money. I'd go, I can't have my money, folks. Uh, it's just the way it worked here. <laughs> To, 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 let's start, magic underwear. What does that? What does that mean? I, 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 I've heard that phrase, magic underwear. I, I'm sure that's speaking in terms of um, a clothing garment that the LDS people wear. Right. It's, uh, LDS Latter Day Saints. So that's uh -huh. the church. The name of the church. And so, so it's ma ma what, 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 No, nothing magic. It's it's symbolic. Right. Um, so. What is it? Is it is it about chastity? Is it about? Partly, yeah. Is yeah, it, symbolic of. Um, get really specific, because I literally, I swear to God, I, the, I've heard that phrase. Like people who are, who are who are hating on Mormons, they go, they have magic underwear. They believe in magic underwear. It's just like, and then you move on with your conversation. Go, I love the calamari. Like, I, I, <laughs> what? To, so knowing that I, that's all all I've heard. That's all I've heard. Like, what does that mean? I, and I also haven't seen the Trey Parker Matt Stone musical. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know how to get into it without having like a whole discussion about, you know, the, all the fundamentals. But um, let's do it. <laughs> we got all night. I don't know if this is the I right mean, we haven't dealt here on Tuesday, but like, we, we already did. We can get the missionaries here in about five seconds. <laughs> we already burned through Fart That's Corner. We got nothing left. <laughs> Well, is there fear of getting it wrong, of like sounding like you're misrepresenting your your religion, or is no, there no, no, or no. is there fear of of people that aren't aren't affiliated, like like uh, judging you, or what's the, um, some, yeah, or is it just a fear of making the podcast six hours long because it's that complicated? No, no, I, I mean the the gospel's simple. Um, it's a Christian gospel. Right. So it's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. Um, there were more books later, right, in the New World. I, Oh yeah, yeah, you're familiar. Right, yeah. right. Uh, that that that. Books like, written at the same time that yeah. That but underwear, the them. underwear, like 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 <laughs> you can't. Do you, you don't want to cartoonify so your you religion by? To, if you go back to like in the Old Testament, the Book of Exodus, and things like that, they talk about, um, they talk about 
when they go to the temple and um, um, putting on the holy garment. Mm -hmm. So it's it's the same type of thing. It's symbolic of certain covenants you make. At the so this temple. is not a sexual thing at all. This is not about <laughs> oh see I, my, my like like you know Orthodox Jews like some, some like there's some sects of uh, uh, of uh, Judaism that where they have sex through a, a hole in a blanket oh, no. or whatever that because everyone has their own you know, eight, eight, you know old religions they have old old ideas about sex that are uh, I thought when I heard Magic Under I automatically assumed it was some kind of like that you, you wore during yeah there was like didn't have a flap in it or something. <laughs> <laughs> so that, so that, and then when you're 16, you got a flap, or <laughs> and then you get to go to prom. <laughs> Talitha, I, I, I'm assuming you're not wearing it now. You wear it when you go into the temple, right? Um, no, at all times. So it's like a yarmulke, or I mean, they don't. So you're right. wearing yeah. yarmulke. Are, are you wearing it now? I am. Yeah. And it's yeah, about like like, like 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 a yarmulke is about like humbling yourself before God, like you're covering your head, like a symbolic like yeah. uh, God fearing thing. So this underwear is covering. So symbolic your... of. Um... Well, starting like your body is like your temple, your body is your gift from God, it houses your spirit. Mm -hmm. So your body is kind of like your most sacred um, physical possession, I guess. Where do you, do you go? And, then, and, then, and, then, and the fundamental level, no matter what you're doing out in society, underneath it all, is your, your, yeah. your relationship with the cosmos. I mean, this is like, when I was a kid, we had a thing called underoos. Uh, <laughs> that, that, where the okay, ass, sacred the, to you. The, well, the, I mean, for, for in a secular sense, yes, yeah, sacred. Yeah, like, yours, a, your, I, yours I'm, been, yeah. I'm getting picked on, I'm getting a swirly, but I'm the Hulk down here. <laughs> they just don't know it. I'm Aquaman. I, you know, I have a relationship with, 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 with you know, I, that doesn't sound. Uh, it's a magic, magic underwear. See, people are too. It's too. Uh, yeah, we tri we trivialize stuff, but also yeah. people are very freaked out by other people's spirituality and stuff like that. So we, we do the opposite of trivializing it, right? We make it into too big a deal because every single little thing, like like religious re religious traditions and rituals, are little tiny little things that 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 sometimes have practicality and sometimes don't. But in all cases. Are, are, are designed to remind the individual in a world where God's not hanging out all the time that God is a part of their life, that, that, that they have a relationship with the unknown. Right. And scientists get to uh, punch the, a clock at work every day. Th th their job is to study the unknown and like figure shit out, so they don't need magic underwear to remind them. But if you work at Verizon, um, there's a lot of people that are going to try to like make you think that you wor should worship Verizon, and they should go fuck themselves if you're a Mormon because you like when you go home at night, you like you're beholden to this other thing. Um, do you do you go to a store to get them? Do you make them your, yourself? Like, what, how do you? How it's do you... an authorized store. Yeah. So the church makes them. Yeah, it's like an authorized pattern. It's like kosher make food. Them. Like, there's some factory somewhere where there's a rabbi going it's like, a, "This hot dog's good to go." <laughs> now, I mean, it's just an authorized pattern. It's, I, I, don't answer this if you don't want to. And I'm not being creepy. Uh, what, what do they look like? Like, what part of your body? Like, like what, what, what <laughs> physically? <laughs> huh? Underwear. Granny underwear. Just, just like from here to here. Really? Sure, sure. Like a, like a, like an old timey swimsuit like in the yeah. <laughs> Just like a like a shirt and and shorts. Well, I'm glad. I still I, make one. This piece. is a great. I, 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 I hope everyone else got their money's worth, but I certainly do. I, 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 I'm, I'm glad, glad I finally it. learned about the magic. Okay, what, okay now let's say you go to the beach. Let's say you're taking a swim in the Salt Lake. Uh, what do you, what, what do you, uh, do you swim oh. in the Salt Lake? You're taking, you're taking a float in the Salt, in the salt Lake. Yeah, and... then you would just not wear them for activities that wouldn't. Re gotcha. That you couldn't normally do without. Like, so, you know, if I'm going swimming or going to work out or. All right. You got five children. You can have any more? Or is, that, is, that, is that the limit? Um, I'm not coming on to you, by the way. <laughs> you have sexy hair. We want to know what you're yeah. underwear. Let's make it around six. And how, how, I'm drawing conclusions. How fertile are you? <laughs> Um, uh, is there, okay, well, yeah, I don't, I, I keep thinking like, oh, there's a big wrap-up question, but, because I don't want to just have brought you up and talked about underwear, but, but to, I mean, that's a, like, like, communication is always a fucking thing, like, 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 I'm obsessed with race, you know, all the time, I grew up in the 70s, I was like, when I was a kid on the playground, I was like, one white kid, and I'd be surrounded by a bunch of black kids, and like, like, I, I, I remember back then, it was the 70s, and like, we were coming off our Norman Lear sitcoms, and everyone was talking about the fact that people were different, you'd have conversations, or you'd go up to a black kid, and go, 
can I touch your hair? Uh, uh, what does it feel like? Or, or like, and, and, and overall, you wouldn't know because people are communicating because, because like that's 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 the human gift is to communicate. And then like this, like somebody saying, oh, they have magic underwear over over calamari, and then that's all I hear. And then yeah. like all of the problem is in everything that's not explained. Like it actually doesn't sound very. Uh, very, very weird at all. And it or, doesn't sound very magical either. Or, yeah. It sounds, I mean, sounds it's, like it's, ritualistic, it's, ceremonial. Yeah, and, uh, it's yeah. ceremonial, symbolic. Yeah. Uh, does it have a big M on it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, Mar that's Mario. That's Mario. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, let's, let's have a hand for our, uh, our Mormon representative. Right. Thank you, Talia. Thank you. Thank you. I, I was hoping I could get farted on. You, you want to get farted on? I was hoping. All right. Are you, you want the music? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Hang on, let's get the music. Oh, sorry, sorry. Pretend that, 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 that didn't do that. Talitha, Talitha okay. wants the music. Uh, fart corner! Religious edition! <laughs> All face from corner to corner. Everyone's gonna get farted on. That's a Garen Torner. Made up a new word that I can do that. Human beings can make up words in religions. That's our talent. That's what we do. It's called mythology, so scoop de doo <laughs> Farted on the morning! To lead everybody. Thank you so much, Lynn. Uh You know what Joseph Campbell said about religion, Jeff? Uh, people, don't, don't fart on it? People, to, to paraphrase Joseph Campbell, people fuck it up because they think that Bibles are newspapers. Like, they, they don't, like, like, your religion is supposed to be, have, have, have a transparency to it. You're supposed to be in on the joke. You're supposed to have one foot in, one foot out. The whole point of religion, the whole point of, of, of God, is that the, the jar that God comes in says on the label, you're not supposed to understand it. It's not, it's not fucking steak sauce. You don't get to incorporate it into your day-to-day -day without any degree of problems or difficulties with the people around you. It's a very personal thing. Some religions make it a communal thing, and then and, and notice how their communities, their kids have higher test scores and bigger pools, and, uh, and we get jealous of them, and then we throw bricks at their windows, because... Uh, uh, it's, it's it, when you, yeah, I, I, I it's like, fucking, it's, 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 it's God, dude. It's like, it's confusing shit. It's, it's not, it's, it both exists and doesn't exist. That's, that's a big confuser right there, isn't it? That's, that's a tough one to handle. Because it's, it's it, he's, he he's not gonna come down and go like, hey, welcome to Wise Guys, is everybody doing okay? That would be the worst God ever. Like, like as soon as he does that, he's fired. Like, like, he becomes Kevin Nealon. As soon as he makes an appearance, that's all he is, is Kevin Nealon. He, he retains God status by there, staying out of the picture. There are less, it's your job to... There, there are less images of Jesus in a church than there are of Kevin Nealon in this company. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is good with just that one, like, hey, I did the thing. And, the second, and our parents fuck us up. But it's, like, you know, it's a popular 25. When you're 25, you go like, well, I don't... But you smoke a joint and you go like, ah, oh, man, I, you know, if God is fucking bullshit. I, was, I don't believe in some guy in a cloud with a beard. You know, I'm spiritual, <laughs> but I'm not religious. And all that. It's fine, it's fine, but no... <laughs> You're, just because your parents are dipshits doesn't mean that, that like, uh, uh, you know, that Santa Claus and God are the same thing. That was just your parents trying to, like, pull a whammy on you. Spencer, like, like, Spencer you don't know, you know, go all the Spencer. way to uh, jaded cynicism just to, just to get back at your parents. What a waste of a, of a, of a, of a giant brain that's designed to, like, create and, 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 and live mythology. <sighs> Spencer, Spencer, do you uh, have uh, any spiritual side to you? Do you believe in God? What's, what's your take on the whole rigmarole? Uh, I was raised a uh, Christian, and when I was young, I, uh, I accepted the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a tone it, of voice it, thing. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a leap of faith for me. It was like, okay, there's this dude, he did... Wait, wait, hang on. If, if you're, you're going to describe that moment, can we do it D&D &D style? I guess. <laughs> Spencer, I'm being attacked by Christian parents. <laughs> okay. Uh, with Bibles. I was... I was talking about a thing. I can't switch gears. Like that. Oh, sorry. Okay. sorry. He, he was going to talk about God, but sorry. Sorry. he was going to explain what was going I'm on. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Sorry. Walking sorry. into the room, clutching Bibles. <laughs> Your parents say they want to pray with you, but they go to me. <laughs> Swallowing your pride, you acquiesce. <laughs> No, but I mean, I, I just, it made sense to me as a kid, and uh, then I grew up, and it made less sense to me, and I was never someone who had faith, like, in anything. I don't have faith that my mom was going to go back, you know, come home if she left. I didn't have faith that the bus was going to arrive. I have faith in nothing. 
So when it stopped making sense, I was like, okay, this doesn't make sense. I stopped taking it to be fact. So I think that there's definitely some sort of ethereal metaphysical uh, power and it manifests itself in many ways that we don't understand. I don't know what those are because we don't understand them. Ghosts, the Loch Ness Monster, and uh, um, uh, spontaneous combustion. Those could all be the same thing. Uh, those could be miracles or those could all be psychic powers. I do believe the Loch Ness Monster makes spontaneous combustion happen. Yeah, whenever he like, uh, dreams about uh, the sun. No, absolutely. I mean, not, not, I when I was growing up, my parents were Christian and tried to told me when if I would break a flower pot, they'd go swear in the Bible uh, that you didn't break it and all this stuff. Nothing will make you an atheist quicker than Christian parents, like, like <laughs> and that and that's that's a, a proud American tradition, like, yeah. like 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 because your parents' Christianity is like 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 man, it, it can really blow. It's like their car. It's a but you, get, you get a station wagon from them that you don't want either. Like like you know, you, you, your dream is to get a Camaro. When I was a kid, I was, I was raised in a Lutheran school as a little kid, and uh, you, you had the Sunday school and you heard the Bible stories. That was the only thing I kind of liked. I, I never knew what they meant, but I liked, like, I liked the mythology of it. I always liked the storytelling about like, people blowing trumpets and knocking walls down. I have no idea what the point of it all was. But I knew that Lutheran church, you get to sit there and doodle and nobody cared. So I just drew a lot. And, it was an, and I would leave the church, and I'd, I'd go up to the pastor, and he would put his hand out, and he would say, well, let's see what you drew. He didn't care that I wasn't listening. He, yeah. he actually liked my little drawings. I've so told the story before, I think, on the podcast, where I went to Sunday school, and, uh, and my mom asked, what did you do today in Sunday school? It was like our first day in Sunday school, and I told her, and she pulled me out because... It was like we learned to recognize Bible characters with flashcards. We learned to recognize them visually. <laughs> I can tell you the difference between Ham and Noah because Ham had a cane in his hand. <laughs> Noah had a backpack. And, but, but confusingly, they were both cartoons. They both looked like Captain Caveman. Confusingly, Cain had a ham in his hand. <laughs> And I explained this to my mom. I said, I can tell you who Ham's wife looks like. I can tell you who Noah's wife looks like. That is ridiculous. And my mom said, that is ridiculous. And, that and, is... and you don't have to go to Sunday school anymore. Holy smoke. Uh, but she also put the whammy on me with the, you know, God exists and don't. Because if I, if I would, like, if I'd be programming my Commodore 64 and it wouldn't work right, I would, I would go, God damn it, fucking computer. And my mom would go, D you know, she'd, like, slap me and go, like, don't use the Lord's name in vain. So, like, 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 she, like, really, I think she was carrying some shit over from her her parents she just knew that if she had a kid that didn't respect god that she was a fuck up as a parent so she was just out of paranoia and anxiety was like just putting the fear into me and nothing else there was nothing and i remember i had these books that would be like like the hand-me-downs of like oh see dick uh and jane uh hang out uh and they, oh they lost their dog oh where's the dog where's spot we can't find spot and i'm like oh, i'm learning to read this is great well we can't find spot what should we do turn the page let's pray what uh, Jesus can help you find your dog, and this Jesus would be hanging out in his robe in the middle of this book about a, about, about these 50s kids looking for their dog. I remember that being a drag, because it wasn't a good story. It was deus ex machina. And, like, and also weird, like Jesus is not like a cool looking character in a children's book. Pardon me, Dan, it's very interesting. Carlos, could I get another uh, uh, ale, please? Did you call him Carlos? That's his name, isn't it? It's Marcus, isn't no, it? No, it says Marcos because he's wearing someone else's name tag. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, so your name is Carlos and you steal clothes? Do you have any idea? <laughs> <laughs> we should point out he's definitely white. Like, like, like. Because I don't want podcast listeners to hear, just to hear, oh yeah, there's a guy named Carlos that's we wearing Marcus's clothes. <laughs> what, what happened to Marcos? Uh, he's got, I found my name tag. Oh, you found it again. Oh, ooh, right. mystery right. solved. I Thank you. Know. Thank you, Kevin I Nealon. I don't know. Plot thickens. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, not mystery solved. All right, let's play Dungeons and Dragons. All right. Yeah. Let's play. Aaron McGaffey, will you please join us on stage? <laughs> and Carlos, once again, thank you for my beer, sir. Is this legal? Can I do this? All right. <laughs> Carlos broke the law by bringing you the beer because he's not eating while he's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos has to have a pretzel in his hand in order to bring you the beer. <laughs> uh, all right. So, so, so Aaron, uh, 
I never know how the show's going because uh, uh, I'm up here. Uh, did I bore people with my political and religious? Uh, uh, no, uh, I thought, I thought it was, it's, a, it's a great show so far. There's a lot of content. And, uh, all right, four, I mean, four star great. review from my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I liked it a whole lot. I, li I love the religious talk. You know, my dad was a preacher and my mom was a theology professor. So yeah. I love that stuff. Is that why I, I turn you on? Because it reminds me. I mean, uh, if you want to be gross, I think so a little bit. You're, you're, you are. You're kind of a. I was thinking about this a few a few nights ago. You're kind of a preacher. Uh, you're a fisher of men a little bit. Um, I have a congregation. Yeah, similar to my dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> does he smell? Does he smell Fine. like? Does he smell like your dad? No, the dicks taste the same. But. Uh, <laughs> Bread. <laughs> Bread. <laughs> yeah, they, they taste like focaccia. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Uh, shout out to my dad. And his, <laughs> and his delicious, delicious clerical cock. Uh, wow. Oh, so awful, so awful. Uh, sorry, to, sorry, Talitha. <laughs> no, it's nice. My, you, you, you spent some time with my dad. I have a really nice, wonderful, smart, very cool dad. Sexy, no, he strong, he cool. uh, live. I went fishing with him. He's a, he's a cool dude. I like him. But you said he had a bunch of, on the bus, you said he had a bunch of Mormon jokes that he used to tell, and then you, then you texted him and he chickened out and he said, I, I never had any Mormon jokes. <laughs> he <laughs> said, Aaron, I was just explaining Mormon theology to you. <laughs> <laughs> If you find that funny, they, uh, it's, it's in the eye of the beholder. It's on you. But I thought you told me a story once about when your dad was a uh, Navy chaplain. He, mm -hmm. he he had a Scientology book in his office, and yes. and, and, and uh, somebody asked him why what, what's going on, and, and and he said, "I'm reading this because one of the seamen that I, one of my flock uh, is a Scientologist, and I want him. He's reading all the Scientology books yeah. so that he can and be a better chaplain and, to yeah. uh, whoever whoever's on, on board his ship. That's, That's cool. Smart, That's, that is smart dude. Cool. That's cooler than I would be. I'd be like, what? Come on. I'd, 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 I'd read the back of the book and I'd be like, okay. Well. I, I see, and th that's the thing. Uh, like, I, I really loved having Talitha up there and talking about stuff. I mean, we certainly didn't get to the bottom of like the heavy, you know. That's a whole podcast. We yeah, could absolutely. Do. But I, I was like at a Box Brothers, like, you know, like a place where you mail stuff, and I was standing behind a dude in Los Feliz in our neighborhood, and he's like this, you know, very well dressed, middle aged guy, nice suit on. Uh, very well, just you know, clearly like well to do ish, you know, like like you know having a, you know life's been good to him. He's mailing off some stuff, and he had a Scientology ring with a little S in the triangle or whatever. And uh, and we're just we're, there's some big delays, so we're just kind of hanging out, and he's, and he's kind of tapping his fingers, and I notice the ring, and I go, uh, pardon me, um, that ring is that, that's Scientology, right? And he turns around like I had just tried to take his wallet from him. And like, it's really defensive. And I, 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 this guy is, does not represent all Scientologists, certainly. But he turned around, it's incredible. Like, what? Like, like, almost like with the posture of like instantly really defensive. And I'm like, and I, I just kind of just pressed right past it. I go, I know, I, I live in this neighborhood. There's all these Scientology buildings. I, I, I've, I've met Scientologists. I don't know the first thing about it. Uh, and he's like, <laughs> uh, he's really bummed out. And he turned around, like, can you not tell me about it? Is that the thing? Is like, I think, what, what, what's, he's like, he's like, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? I'm like, I'm just asking about Scientology. It's like, is it, is it off limits to know? I said, because if it is, that's fucked up. <laughs> well, to be fair, you and were wearing we, a Guy Fox mask. Huh? I said, to be fair, you were wearing a Guy Fox mask. And later, Hussein. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I was carrying a banjo. So you know, he had every reason to not trust me. Yeah, but also, I, he was buying a, a first aid kit, and he was bleeding profusely. <laughs> from that. Right. Anyway, the I, organization I, I, anonymous words. If, if you can't be forthright about what it is you believe, then I think you believe something stupid. So <laughs> maybe I mean, he had just murdered somebody and stole the ring and didn't know. Yeah, yeah exactly. If you can't be forthright about it. Yeah, then you're probably not fully converted yourself. Yeah, thank there you. should definitely be an open. Yeah, I think you got to open your books with the religion for sure. Yeah. Secret religion, it's a little sketchy. I mean, that, uh, maybe some things are stupid. I'll, I'll tell you what's not stupid. Something I take very <laughs> seriously. Dungeons and Dragons. Whoa. Spencer, bring us up to date, please. On the last episode, our heroes were still within the depths of the Infinifish. After falling out of a semi-destroyed lung, the team dropped down to the circular chamber below. After deciding to carry on, they ran through the next sphincter into a large pink room with a large pink organ in. Assaulting the organ with impunity, the game was soon accosted by lightning spidery creatures and fighting.
fighting those and destroying the organ was the work of a moment. After destroying the organ, the group stood in a chamber. Before you, a tangle of fleshy cords barring your path. Behind you, the circular chamber you were just in. Go. Again, I never thought I'd get the timing right on that. That was amazing. That, that is a, that, that's, a, that's a minute and 30, uh, 42 second track, and you managed to go right to the last second yeah, every time. That was, that was orgasmic. That was really good. <laughs> I'm looking like, oh, come on, a sweat, sweat's dripping down my head. Like, come on, you got four seconds missing. You went, go. We gotta clip all these up for like my DJ demo reel. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe you've heard this track enough, or it's it's kind of cellular. No, it's, comple I, it's completely random every time. Because I, I play a bit to walk you on. I play a bit to bring Aaron up. Like it's 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 never the same thing twice. I just marvel at your internal clock on that track. It's it's shocking. Okay. It's telling Spencer did on the bus. If he ever wanted to start his own religion, now is the time. Everyone's That's time. a great city to do it in. Have you guys heard of uh, fork nuts? The what? They're little gremlins that cause all the world's problems. <laughs> I would like to, I should have said this gigs ago, but uh, I really need a case for a, a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, <laughs> they break very easily and it's a very hard, to, I can't find a case for it in any truck stop or, uh, or Walmart. And uh, so if there was any time, any point where I wanted anyone to uh, think that I was a, a cult leader uh, that was worth giving gifts to, uh, if you're listening and you're in Portland, uh, no, see, we're, 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 San we're, so, we're so far behind. It won't drop, you'll get it yeah, back. It won't work, it won't fucking work. So uh, you, I should have done that in Brooklyn. I should have been like, I need a fucking phone case. Yeah, I, I told people I need a shoe goo, and my shoe has been repaired, maybe. The, the, yeah. the, shoe, the shoe goo did the job. I just, I, the, the thing also, I never even met the person that gave the shoe goo, so thank you to whoever that was. What All right, so we're, we're, we're in a room with the what's up? What happened with the smokesticks? Oh, uh, the smokesticks. We uh, we uh, gate we 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 were in the lung of the Infinifish, we think, and we use the smokesticks to release acrid smoke into the lungs <laughs> as well as igniting torches. Right. So so we gave the Infinifish emphysema, right? Right. And then <laughs> and then they slashed it to bits. And then last night we were in the what we what we think is a kidney, and we slashed that. We and there was talk about trying to give the Infinifish AIDS and killing it that way, but we didn't know how to. I tried to uh, summon a, like an AIDS-ridden animal, but I, 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 I found out I can't summon animals. I can only speak to them. So yeah. What would be the noise for you summoning a, an AIDS-ridden animal? Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho! Yeah, 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 yeah. Accurate. What do you What do you think it was gonna be? All right, so uh, we have we have a. There's a well, where are we at? We're, we're, there's, a, just a, there's a thing barring our way with the fleshy cords? Yeah, it's like, a, if you imagine, like a large thicket, but of, a, of a fleshy ropes. Is this through the third door, or are we in the third? You're in the room with the organ. If you went back a room, you'd be oh. in that three door room. So, because we're, 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 we're uh, uh, as Dolly Parton would say, we're two doors down. Two uh, doors we, down. We, 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 we've, we've killed the lung and the kidney, and yeah. so now we need to go back. Presumably, or forward. I mean, either way. I, I say to these guys, I think we need to go back and go through that third third door and take out the third thing because this feels a lot like a video game or yeah, yeah. Or, 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 or an Irish joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I take a swipe at the uh, at the fleshy cords with my sword. Several of them shatter, or not shatter, you know, slice into ribbons. It'll take a few more slices, I, but uh, can I just can I just do a couple like slices, slices? Like, yeah. Uh, so I, yeah, I, I just start hacking at the at the things. Hacking at the things. You reveal the <laughs> passageway. Oh, that, that was easy. See, yeah. some, sometimes just 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 use your machete to get. I charge machete. headlong into the passageway. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I've changed inside this infinite fish and on this tour and in this movie about the tour. I have, my character's changed. I have changed. I've become cockier. I've become uh, you, you uh, rush longer winded. Yeah. <laughs> More headlong in your rushing. Yeah. All right. Blasting through the opening, you are met with what appears to be a slippery slope. Your momentum carries you forward, and you slide down the slope. I remember that Aaron was in this room. Mulling was. At the bottom of the slope is a large orangey pink slime, translucent right. and thick. We're in the butt. And inside the monster, you can see a large tome. It's thick and appears to be ancient, and it's covered in splatters of blood. On it's inside, inside the, inside the what? There's a large blob of slime, as oh. of some sort of monster. But on the inside is a large ancient tome. Okay, so there's a that, that, that's probably like one of like gelatinous uh, monster of some kind. Yeah, you can see blood seeping out of the book and crawling into the mass of the slime, branching oh, out like buds and shoots from a branch. <laughs> uh, the book calls to you. We should join him. The book calls to yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, you sense a longing 
before the book. Valley High! Valley High! We uh, join Sharpie Blue. near the blood book. You slide down the shaft and are joined with Sharpie. I do likewise. That happens also. <laughs> All right, let's start simple here. I'm, I'm going to use my crossbow, which I never do. And I would, oh, it's actually, kind of my, no, I'm sorry, kind I'm going to I'm going to give to Mer Mulrane, who I assume has better archery skills than me. I, I'm carrying a thing called Melf's Acid Arrow. Mm, That's yeah. actually a spell. Oh, yeah. OK. <laughs> never mind. Uh, is that like magic missile? But it's, Yeah, except it does acid damage, and uh, there's a chance that it will do acid damage uh, later on, like damage over time. Yeah, OK. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try Melf's Acid Arrow, because it's an organic uh, thing. Melf's? Acid arrow? No, not Milf. <laughs> Milf. Oh, okay. Milf. He was a guy. Summoning a green bolt of noxious acid, you fire it directly at the blob. Choctaw! <laughs> Choctaw! <laughs> Dealing a damage. Right. Okay. Fine. It's not great, but no. you're, you're not take great. It. <laughs> what is um, I. I just noticed that I have a sword. Yeah, you have a long sword, uh, and you have weapon finesse, which means uh, you're actually quite adroit at it. Is that the right word? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I shoot two long swords. <laughs> Adventure! Is that a joke? Uh, <laughs> I, it's no, not, it's, it's not. not if you have to ask. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's more of a bit. I take, <laughs> I take, I take the long sword, and I um, use I it. Use it. <laughs> I I slice it towards the book. I, I point it. Critical hit. Critical hit. <laughs> Slicing at the slot, your, your sword leaves a clean mark along its surface. Man, I had someone tweet at me that I was really bad at Dungeons & Dragons. I'm not disproving them. Yeah, you're, well, you're not allowed to be sensitive about that. I'm not. Dealing 13 damage, you notice that the slime splits in half. Yeah! Fuck you, Hazmat46! Both halves launch their attacks. And miss. Oh, nice. We got lucky. So, yeah. it, so now there's two halves of slime? Two slimes remain. Each is about half the size of the former slime that composed the two slimes. <laughs> yeah, we're the yeah. book is on the right-hand slime. <laughs> I don't get it. So, <laughs> so we've, we've passed the book on the right-hand slime? <laughs> This is making me think that I don't know what slime is because the way that it's acting, I don't understand. You don't know what swords are. It's a large blob <laughs> of, uh, of a goop and acid that'll kill you. Okay, I go into a uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's the one? The uh, I, I do a power attack. Uh, what's power my attack. Sword? One, two, or three. Uh, two. Two. Yep. You miss. Shit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm this is stupid. You hit. You yeah. Hit. Shit! Slime <laughs> All right. Uh, it's gonna be seventeen damage. Seventeen damage, motherfuckers! Oh, oh, the remaining slime that you slash splits in half, forming two smaller slimes. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! So we're just making more slimes. Yeah, you are. yeah, but they're smaller. That's true. Sharpie, this this might be the wrong time to tell Jesus you, but <laughs> my thoughts oh, exactly. Was, no, I'm sorry. No, I agree. <laughs> You, were, you, 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 you spoke my thoughts. The slimes lurch towards you. You strike both Sharpie and Mulray. Hey, Mulray, that, pseudopod. now's a good time to check in with your boyfriend. I'll be over here kicking ass. <laughs> I was just going to say I'm very proud of you, that's all. <laughs> the two of you take 11 acid damage. Oh, man. Yeah. I see colors. <laughs> Oh, man. I, mean, I could always see colors, but yeah. I see more. I see more. I smell them. Uh, well, can I ask a quick sidebar, DM? Go for it. Mending, the spell mending. Can repair a lightly damaged object. Like, Do you want to like stick this line back together? Like if there's a hole in a boat, that's what that's for. Or like if uh, you sat on your watch. 
<laughs> uh, you know what time it is when I sit on my watch? Dear box time. Time to get a new watch. <laughs> oh, damn. Do I gain hit points from that awesome joke? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Whose turn is it? My turn? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, 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 I mean, I wouldn't. You, I wouldn't. Yes, I was thinking maybe for a second I might use mending to mend the. But I, I don't. If wanna... you'd like to, that might make sense. It's really easy to repair a slime and just kind of smash it back together. Because, uh, uh, but I mean, I don't yeah, know. It's like, are we? Are we trying? It's like an asteroids. If why would you want to make the, uh, remake a big asteroid? Because it's easier to dodge a large one. But but it won't. Okay. I don't know. I'm fine. Just fine. Okay, I, I'm okay, hearing I think that I, I should try this. I'm Go gonna do it. it. I cast Mending on two of these smaller slimes. Two, the slimes coalesce into a larger form. However, that final form seems to be smaller than the sum of the two slime masses. Ooh. It's like math. Non-Euclidean <laughs> geometry. <laughs> uh, Spencer, may I use Alchemist's Fire yeah, on the uh, slime? Hurling a bag of Alchemist's Fire, you strike the blob directly in its center of mass. Dealing seven fire damage. The blob's now on fire. Which one did you do? Hooray! The one with the book or the one without the book? The slime? Yeah, there's two slimes at this point. Which would be better? Uh, the one don't burn the book. that you like. Don't, I don't want to burn the book. Okay, cool. That slime dies. Only one half slime is remaining. The one with the book? The one with the book. Flaming sword! <laughs> don't burn the book. <laughs> You can extinguish the flames on your sword if you'd like. I extinguish the flames on my flaming sword! <laughs> now it's just a sword! It's a, it's a closet sword. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just a sword. <laughs> it's a straight acting sword. It's a... <laughs> yeah, it's very butch. Closet sword. Yeah, it's a bear sword. Yeah, it wears uh, shirts with sleeves now. And, uh... You slice the book slime and it splits in half, but it also takes 17 damage. It appears to be on the ropes. What, how's the book? The book's cool, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, magic Missile, I cast Magic Missile at the slime, oh, right. so as not to hurt the book. I'm gonna resolve slime attacks first. Yeah, resolve them. Good luck well, with that. Uh, Quark, you take uh, 11 damage. Uh-oh, where did I put my hit points at? Uh, you should have been at full, I don't think you got hit from any of the spider things. I took a little bit of damage. I think it took like seven or something. I think seven from the lightning spider. So uh, seven or eleven will put you somewhere around twenty-two. This is so exciting. It really is. <laughs> lightning spider. Sure, he takes five damage. Turn to you, Spencer. <laughs> I think it's funny if I act like that. It's just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but were you gonna cast magic missile? Yeah, okay. at the at the at the book wielding slime. Firing your magic missiles, they strike true. It takes seven damage. Yeah. It's dead. Better. It's yeah. dead. All right. The slime evaporates. You see the book remaining, resting on the fleshy ground. Step back, you. magic expert. <laughs> I go to the book, yep, yep. I, I examine it with my magical eyes. It appears to be written in some sort of red ink. Abyssal? Blood. It's actually a language you don't recognize, however, you still seem to feel the power and energy emanating from this book. Does it feel evil? It, it feels um, not evil, but definitely dark, definitely the power of death. I touch it. You touch it. <laughs> the book, right? Sharpie. It feels slightly damp with blood. As you touch it, a bit of blood seeps out of the book onto the ground. Open it up and check it out, man. I open up to the, the, the inside front cover. The inside front cover. That's the fly leaf. It's covered in blood. Mm. I, I open up to a random page in the middle. It seems to be written in red script that you don't recognize. It's definitely an old language of some sort. It's definitely not abyssal or any other sort of demonic language as far as you can tell. Is it gnome or dwarven? It is not gnome or dwarven. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> is it elvish? Can I 
I detect magic on it. It is intensely magical. Intensely magic. <laughs> Do our little magical shards have any effect on this sort of thing? Or? No, uh, I don't know. I whip out a shard. <laughs> you whip Sorry, out baby. a shard. <laughs> we all whip our shards out. <laughs> we compare shard length. <laughs> I only bring out enough shard to win. <laughs> I pull my I pull my leaf skirt down for no reason. Okay. <laughs> the shards have no reaction. Mm -hmm. uh, I I approach the book and uh, see if I can read it. I cling to it tightly. Okay. <laughs> don't act it out. Uh, Ooh, don't 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 be snatching my my book. <laughs> Baby. Baby, baby, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to snatch it, I'm just trying to help. Well, look with your eyes, not with your hands. <laughs> uh, fine. I look with my eyes. You look with your eyes. <laughs> you see a book, it appears ancient and old. <laughs> I can, I read, can I read the language? You cannot read the language. I said, we I said we take the book and find somebody who can speak this language. What are the exits available to us, Spencer? Right now, you can only see a sphincter on the floor. Yeah! <laughs> Perfect spot to end, I think. Yeah. Look at Butthole a sphincter. cliffhanger! Look at a sphincter! Thank you so much. Aaron McGathy, yeah. everyone. Swordmaster. Aaron, are you selling merchandise out there? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Uh, Spencer and I will be selling merchandise downstairs. T-shirts, one for 15, two for 25. Free smiles, free hugs, lots of love. Stay true to yourself. And <laughs> depending on what, what time it is, I, I, so, so far I have yet to be unable to stay until I've signed every single thing that, that uh, people buy. So yeah. uh, we, may, we may break that record here because uh, we have to leave. Yeah, I say we're getting close to wrapping this thing up here. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, that goes without saying. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to talk about politics and religion for another 40 minutes. I, I, <laughs> I just mean I don't know what time it is. It feels like we did a four-hour show uh, in a good way. It's 9.10. <laughs> Chicken noodle dick. Ch chicken noodle dick. Chicken, chicken noodle dick and a can for you. <laughs> There's a sip of some hearty broth, then your lips will froth at the taste of it, my friend. Chicken, chicken noodle dick. Chicken noodle dick. It's a nice and thick. <laughs> Let's, say, let's sing the chicken noodle okay. dick song. You, you, you guys, but we didn't sing it in last night's show in, uh, where were we? Kansas City? Denver. Was, Denver. Right. We sing it in the last It's in all the same. <laughs> uh, Here I am. Ain't got a dick, got a chicken noodle can. All my life, I've been putting this can inside my chicken noodle wife. Chicken noodle guy come down from the mountain saying, chicken noodle man, you gotta work all day. Chicken noodle man, you gotta cross the river Jordan. Feed the devil soup until your troubles go away. Soup to the bowl, bowl to the spoon. Spoon to the mouth, you're gonna get well soon. You gotta get some rest and sleep till noon. Grab a couple of coffee, then head to the saloon. Second chicken noodle guy come down from the mountain saying, chicken noodle man, you gotta work all day. Chicken noodle man, you gotta cross the river Jordan. Feed the devil soup until your troubles go away. Go away. Oh, little Southland, come what me. My chicken noodle wife let me just the other day. There's not much else I can do but pray. My chicken noodle man, I gotta work all day. Everybody! Chicken noodle God, come down from the mountain. Say, chicken noodle man, you gotta work all day. Chicken noodle man, you gotta cross the river Jordan. Feed the devil soup and take his troubles. Go away. Very spiritual in Salt Lake City. It's a, it's a town, it's, it's, it's a half Mormon, half secular town. Half, half drunk, half sober. Thank you. It's a, it, it makes for good mythology. It's like a battery is powerful because it has like, you know, it's got, got, got opposing charges and they're trying to get to each other. You can, you can turn that into a, 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 an alarm clock waking you up for your job at Verizon. <laughs> Wait, no, that's, that's the wrong one. I want to try the other one. Yeah, but I should do some rapping. Oh, yeah. I should do some fucking hardcore rapping. You want to do a little rapping? I got it. I got it. I, it's not because it's not I want to. It's because they deserve it. I know. Yeah. No. The, the people cry out for what they want. Like, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to have to look anyone in the eye tonight that says, like, you didn't rap. I brought my daughter. <laughs> you didn't rap. You didn't rap. I've, I don't know if you guys have been listening to the podcast, but I've been getting really good. 
and the bar can't be raised high enough. Well, let's put, <laughs> let's put the uh, your money where your mouth is, man. I'm not afraid. Yo, 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 yo. So, so far, so good. Yo, yo, yo. Went to a lake and its name was Salt. To fuck your mama it's real hard, but it wasn't my fault. Salt. She came onto me and it wasn't me. I told her, eat my doo doo and drink my pee, and she did. So I fucked her. She did her part. I did mine. Your mama's so fine. I went down to meet her in the salt mine. Here in Utah, that's what they do. They dig deep and pull it out and give it to the world for truth. Come on down to Harmontown. Salt. Turn that frown upside down. Chloride. He is yellow, poop is brown. So do you. A simple seasoning right on your table, but is it that simple or did Cain slay Abel? It's a biblical town, but a different Bible. Uh, an Indian found a book? Is that liable to cause confusion? There's three books? Um, is your underwear gonna get you dirty looks? If it's magical, don't be tragical. Just communicate what that chick did and everyone will be fine like a fraggle. Um, kinda rhymed. One more time with the chorus. Come on down to Harmon Town, you talk. Turn that frown upside down. Mama. He's yellow, poop is brown. Papa. Come on down to Harmon Town. United States made of all different worlds. <laughs> Boys and girls, going Christmas shopping. Fuck your mama so hard that her titties were slopping. <laughs> Out of her shirt onto the floor, and I, I scooped him up and said, you, you need these and more. You need to take care of yourself. Be a good mother. Uh, go home, raise all my sisters and brothers. Be a proud woman. Get a career. Don't keep fucking me, damn Harmon. Just standing here. Just the Mormons. Come on down the Harmon. Tabernacle. Right that frown upside down. Even next one. Yellow poop is brown. Ex Mormons. Come on down to Harmon Town. Fleeing from my Mormon faith. It was, it was so constrictive, I just had to escape. It was like Jehovah's Witness and Scientologists. I, could, I grew up under it and couldn't handle it. And everything your parents tell you, you gotta do the opposite. But every time you stand back, you might come back to it. Because it really doesn't matter what you pray to. It's all ghosts. It's just as relevant as what you put on your toast. Some people put jam. Some people put jelly. I listen to Tori Amos. Some people listen to Belly. They're both old bands from the 90s. Uh, you're all 25. I'm sorry that I dated myself. Come on down, fuck the town. Turn that band outside. Like, Cousin R. Kelly. Cousin R. Kelly. Cousin Kelly. Jeff. Yo, yo, we had a good time tonight. Uh, we had a girl that was Mormon came up on stairs and her hair was ghostly white. She, she had presumably white undergarments on that protect her from evil. Uh, I, I, I hope she doesn't get attacked by a bull weevil that eats up holes and lets in a, a pocket of sin. Uh, I, I know that Mormonism and the tabernacle is something I'd like to get in and check it out just for a while. I think that maybe Brigham Young could make me smile. Come on down to Harmon Town. Spencer's coming up down, upside down. DM. Is a yellow poop is brown. Rap master Come on down to Harmon Town. My name's Spencer and I'm on the mic. I used to play volleyball so I know how to spike. We just came out here to Salt Lake City. It's the saltiest place to suck your mama's titty. It's a lot of fun to be up here, I admit. I think that you all should just submit to my will. Just start all listening to me and everybody doesn't even have to be free. You're all my slaves. Come on down, Harmon's Thank you, Salt Lake City. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Jesus, for coming up there. Craig, good luck with your job back in Wisconsin, or back in Los Angeles, right, and stuff. Talitha, our, our Mormon representative. Thank you, wise guys. Let's all go out, meet downstairs, get some merchandise, have a drink, and say, hey, oh, we can't have a drink. It's illegal here. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron McGathy. Uh, Spencer Crittenden. I'm Jeff Davis. Woo! One more time for the mayor of Harmon Town. Dan Harmon, everybody. God bless you. Whatever God that may be. I'm gonna walk around with my beer and Don't do it, Jeff! Don't do it! I'm gonna walk to oh the green God. room He's like, with Jesus the beer Christ. in my hand Come on down to Harmon Town This is the sad part
part of the song. He is your focus brown. Come on down.